All right, welcome to Smokey Approved Korea. I'm your boy Journalist, and on this one, we are here to check out a video you guys asked me to look at. What's the name of this video? This is BTS Army Introduction to BTS Fans by Celeste. I said I get this knocked out because it's a short one, and then it also seemed like one that might be helpful so I can understand the fandom a little bit better. So that being said, guys, thank you very much for directing me to this video. Thank you guys for participating in my journey down this BTS rabbit hole. And yeah, if you would like, please hit that like button the subscribe patrons in the description box if you would like early access or exclusive access to anything we have going on over there that being said let's get into this see what we got boom 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 <laughs> the bts Shout out to Celeste and anybody's videos I'm going to react to. I just would like to say first and foremost you guys have put in some comprehensive work and I'm just the guy with the camera and the microphone. And I just, I get to sit here and talk about it. So thank you very much for doing all the hard work. Thank you. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. Who is the BTS Army? Army was officially established for BTS on July 9, 2013. Y'all got a birthday? The meaning of a military army is implied, tying in with the name of BTS, which stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan or Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. ARMY is an acronym for Adorable Representative MC for Youth, given to them in hopes that they will raise their voices and stand with BTS in support of the underrepresented values they often address in their work. There should be a BTS game show where BTS fans get to come on and see who knows what. That would be lit. You guys will watch that. That's a good one. There's probably something like that already, knowing how massive this these guys are. Like, this is ridiculous. Armies in its early conception and demographic spoke for the youth walking alongside BTS to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations imposed on adolescents, actively working to defend and preserve the value and ideals of today's youth. While what initially draws in new fans may be their talent and their catchy melodies, Many grow into dedicated armies due to BTS's core values, missions, and social messages, which have been magnets for the diversity of the fandom. BTS is adamant on their stances against bullying, abuse, and the current socioeconomic norms. They seek to empower youth and women, promoting mental health, self-love, and self-development. They have inspired many fans to better themselves and be active in fighting against social injustices. Armies started small, but passionate, much like BTS. However, one stereotype that incessantly follows the fandom is that of screaming hormonal teenage girls. While That's amazing young folks knows. are indeed a part of ARMY, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a young or passionate person, statistics prove that BTS reaches far beyond its expected demographics. Facts. Take a look at this age demographic. 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 25% are 40 years old and over. Facts. Here's a graph from Reuters, who compiled the web traffic for 2020 Map of the Soul tour tickets. Females ages 25 and up made up 46% of web traffic, while 31% were males. Armies hail from different countries, backgrounds, ethnicities, ages, creed, and gender. I think it is important to note that there are passionate fans in almost all disciplines and subcultures, most notably in the sports world. I'm, I'm so happy she's about to do this one. I'll let her go through this. I do often wonder why it's socially acceptable for boys and men to show their undying love and support for something they're fanatic about. Yet, girls and women... Oh, she did not make the same point. So, uh, my thing was, I, uh, I would akin BTS ARMY fandom to, like, you guys have joined a sports team, but not, like, just any sports team, because, like, football in America, like, I could be in the opposing team's jersey so I, let's say i'm a i am actually a tennessee titans fan so let's say i'm in the indianapolis indianapolis colts stadium on a away game wearing my team's jersey and i'm the only guy in my section 
I could talk as crazy as I want to anybody. Nothing will happen to me. However, this is why I've made the distinction, and I'm not talking about American football, so you can understand what I'm saying. It is like European football fandom. You cannot disrespect the people I support in front of me and get away with that. And that is the difference between just why I'm like, it's not American football fandom. It's European football fandom. There's a real difference because you couldn't be a, let's say Arsenal's rival is Manchester United. You couldn't have an Arsenal kit on and be somewhere in the Manchester United stadium and just be talking crazy. Somebody's going to slap you or they're going to like, they're going to say something to you. So this is just why I'm like, it's so different. You guys are so um, fervent for these people. And it's crazy. I'm like, what the hell? Women are so often belittled for their enthusiasm. To help you visualize, take a look at this graph from Research BTS, showing similarities and differences between Has anybody followed BTS for an entire tour? Is that even possible? Because they tour globally. Yeah, that was crazy. You guys have a fan chant. I didn't even know that was those like existed. Expert knowledge. Yeah, you guys definitely have expert knowledge, and are, yep, you guys have your own like media sphere. That's crazy. Sport fans and boy band fans. Also, note that older fans often have more disposable income. That helps them afford the band's merchandise and concert tickets and creates an advertising market for the products the band promotes to older consumers, including Samsung phones and These boys sell cars? Hyundai cars. Their dedication, passion, and organization has helped us support BTS through a myriad of paths, enabling BTS and armies to achieve incredible results See, such as too. getting BTS's single Dynamite to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and staying in the top spot for two consecutive weeks. Only 44 songs in the chart's history have debuted at number one, and only 20 of those songs remained on the top for a second consecutive week. With the success of Dynamite, BTS was recognized by the Recording Academy for their music for the first time, securing them a Grammy nomination for the best pop to- Fuck no. Undia should not have even fucking won. Intentions, fuck out of here. Rain on me, fuck out of here. Exile, fuck out of here. That's crazy. Yo, that's a real snub blood. That's a snub. That's a terrible group of people to be fucking... Oh, my God. Oh, I'd be upset. I'd be upset. Fuck you mean I lost to these people. On that year? Blood, fuck out of here. Duo group performance making them the first Korean pop act to ever be nominated under this category. Since then, BTS has achieved three number one debuts on the Billboard Hot 100, with the most recent one being Life Goes On. Unlike their single Dynamite, which was sung in English, Life Goes On was sung in mostly Korean. The day Shout Dynamite dropped, that one. it had a Selena total of 1,700 spins on the US radio, while Life of One. That's it? That seems very small. That number should be, like, way higher. That seems like, yeah, this is, oh, my God, that's ridiculous. This seems like a small number. But I actually don't know how big this number is supposed to be. So I just assume we could at least do, like, 10,000 spins on terrestrial radio in America in a day. 1,700 feels like nothing. 1,700 spins on the U.S. radio while Life Goes On only had six total spins on U.S. radio. What? So they got played in Los Angeles. I don't know where 1027 is. I've DC is somewhere. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. They out here choking these boys out. This made debuting Life Goes On at number one even more impressive, not only because of language, 
but because radio airplay accounts for a large portion of the Hot 100 scores. With the release of Life Goes On and the new album B100 scores. They got number one global and global two, and ooh, these boys cutting up. With the release of Life Goes On and the new album B, BTS topped multiple. 13, so it's a pretty good resume. Pretty good resume. One through six, damn. Multiple charts on its release week. Each achievement on this non-exhaustive list is remarkable in its own right. But the true marvel of Life Goes On is this. A largely Korean language song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with virtually no radio play, no remixes, and no bundles. The song's stratospheric debut offers unimpeachable proof of BTS's popularity and the dedication of their fans. Together, they have subverted a Western music industry whose archaic practices are often rooted in racism and xenophobia and redefined what a Korean pop act can achieve on the U.S. charts. I give to them. ARMY Respects. has also helped BTS set historical records such as the Beatles' 52-year record, Bee Gees' 42-year record, Michael Jackson's 36-year record, Celine Dion's 24-year record, Adele's 5-year record, and more. BTS has sold out multiple stadiums around the world including two nights at the Wembley Stadium in London which holds 90,000 people, and the concert sold out in just 90 minutes, making Jeez. BTS the 12th artist to ever See, sell that's out the- That's the, the difference in what is, I think it's, uh, it's fucking, I think it's the Boy City video where you can see behind one of the girls that's in, uh, what is it, black and pink or something like that? I can't remember the group name, but yeah, that's like, I know the color pink is in the name, so I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. But like, you could see there was like seats available. I'm like, there's not seats available here, Sam. Like, there's really not. There's like nowhere to sit. There's nowhere to stand. This is ridiculous. It's illuminated everywhere. The legendary Wembley Stadium. During a time when streaming numbers have increased, and traditional album sales have decreased, BTS holds the records for the best-selling physical album of the year and the only act to sell over 500,000 copies in the United States. Currently in the United States, it's so bad that a first week with like 25,000 or more sales is like, okay. Like, 100,000, 125,000 people are just like, oh, this is like, it's a, it's a good start. And I'm just like, that's ridiculous. Like, I came up on a time where people were doing like a million first week. That's why like when the BTS thing came where you guys, wow, what's the stat? They did like a million, like no, like two million first day or something like that. Something ignorant. And then like seven million first week or six million first week. Like that's ignorant. That's, you're almost diamond on an album within the month. Like another 4 million and I'm diamond. Like what is, it's ridiculous. The album Map of the Soul 7 has sold over 4 million copies worldwide. In 2019, BTS were chosen as endorsement models for Hyundai's Palisade SUV. Hyundai estimated sales to be around 25,000, but had already received 52,000 orders weeks after its announcement, and the numbers kept growing. The demand for the Palisade skyrocketed so rapidly, Hyundai struggled to keep up with demands and was backlogged by six to ten months. God damn. In 20 I can't remember exactly who we were having the conversation about what a check for endorsement for advertisements would cost. You were totally correct. Two to five million is a totally woefully low number if they're moving that many car units from a foreign manufacturer by my estimate because i'm american so i know they're talking about domestically selling these cars in korea but i know that even because the fandom is global that in my country there's probably people that are driving that car because they're like yo my man said drive the whip i try to whip that's crazy 20 bts endorsed luxury massage chair brand body friend 
their sales increased by 40. Does anybody have one of these? Was it worth the money? It looked like a Professor X chair. It's it's far too drippy. They're lying to you, though. I hope no human in history outside of an advertising had to sit in this chair with the fucking fresh suit on. I hope you were in sweatpants and a t-shirt and you have your most comfortable things you ever wanted because you i'm going to sleep in that thing that is ridiculous body friend i've never even heard of this i know that costs money that's at least a thousand dollars six percent from the previous year in short army sell out everything the members touch unsurprisingly their purchase power goes beyond bts merchandise the fandom once sold out fabric, softener, and wine. BTS themselves are charitable and are aware of their power and influence. They have been leading by example. Armies never straying far from BTS's actions have also taken to show their love and support towards all seven of the members, but also towards each other. And that right there is why I think this shit works. It's because any one of us can do whatever the hell we want. And we have full-throated support from the army. It's not RM's fans. It's not Jimin's fans. It's not XYZ. It's everybody's fans. However, do, does everybody, like you got, like to say, we all have biases. I, I've noticed this language. So you guys have a bias. But you're still like, yo, but he's still my man. So I'm supporting him. And then they just figure out not to have any outward beefs. Or maybe they do. I know there's one time somebody said they didn't talk to somebody else for like six months or something. I was like, oh, okay, they do beef. But there's no need to blow up the group. There's no reason to haul and oats this. Simon and Garfunkel, let's rock together. I always have the, it had the belief, excuse me, that if we are doing something together, why mess it up? Like, let's figure out a way to keep doing this because I hate seeing musical acts that are just like, I can't even be in the same room as that person. I'm like, please, just make another song, my brother. I don't know what happened, but please go make a song with that, man. You two make beautiful music. It's great. It's great. Other and the world around us. While they sell out stadiums and set and break records in the music industry, they've also nurtured a strong and loving community. On Twitter, crops That's of facts. accounts unusual within a music fandom have been cultivated, such as BTS Army Medical Union, an account made by pre-med medical students and health professional fans who sought to make learning about medical science fun and accessible. What accounts like BTS Army Bar Association, made up of army lawyers who took on the task to educate the fandom about laws and legal systems. Army Academy, account providing free tutoring services and advice for young people who need Hi. that type of support. Borahe Entertainment, created for ARMY creative artists and musicians. ARMY Help Center, who seek to provide an open ear for those who might Wait, Borahe Entertainment, created for ARMY creative artists and musicians. ARMY Help Center, who seek to provide an open ear for those who might need it for the sake of mental health. They created resources within the fandom to help keep organized and informed. There, go big dual there was even a project called the Purple Ribbon Project to help protect the members from getting mobbed while traveling through airports around the world. The efforts were seen by the... <laughs> oh, these voices up. These voices up. They got... Oh, man. They got people that's like, look, y'all are too crazy. Who's willing to sign up to just make sure my man can catch the plane? That's fire. That's fire. Oh, man. They didn't even have to ask for that. This is um, this is my belief on invention or innovation of any form. Somebody became annoyed at one point in time. And that person's inconvenience is now my convenience. So next time you're in your house, just take a moment and think about it like this. Like, say you have floated cabinets. Imagine that was somebody's inconvenience, that they could see that their cabinet was attached to the wall. And they invented a way to get that to not be a thing. I look at all inventions and things that we have. So that I think about this like that, and I'm like, somebody was inconvenienced because they couldn't get to the plane without being encumbered. 
So they put together a resource to make sure that my man gets on his plane without having to deal with any BS. But my man's already paying for security. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. The band and one of the members, V, even took pictures with the purple ribbons that were used. Not only do we help each other, but we also try to help the world around us. One of ARMY's main charity fan bases, One in an ARMY, created in 2018, is a collective that acts as a guide in global fundraising initiatives for fans to donate directly to charities. To give you an idea, here's the One in an ARMY's charity summary map Ridiculous. from 2019. In 2019, more than 370 plus charity projects. How does the. You can't even see my country. You can't even see the South version of my country. This is ridiculous. What? Oh, that's mad. This is mad. ...were created in different countries under ARMY. In 2020, when BTS's concert was canceled in South Korea due to COVID-19, fans donated their concert ticket refunds to help with relief and prevention efforts. In June of 2020, moved by BTS's statement and show of support to the Black Lives Matter movement, armies all over the world who had already been donating to BLM causes band together and matched BTS's 1 million Ridiculous. donation in just one day. That's BTS mad. never fails to talk very highly of ARMY and other artists have also added to the praise. The BTS ARMY. They're some of the most loyal, positive, and fun fans that you could ever dream of. Facts. And I just want to say thank Aggressive. But I don't mind that because it's well-intentioned. But you guys do not play. If we were still living in a world where people just cut, got cut for saying things, you guys would cut somebody for saying the wrong thing. You guys are on the ball. I give you that. But you guys are so positive. It's crazy. It's like you cut somebody with a smile. It's it's crazy. But you guys are very supportive, and I do appreciate that. Because it does come with mostly positive um, comments and just people just enjoying my experience in this. And that's what I do appreciate. Because you guys make me feel so nice sometimes. I read some of these comments, and I'm like, you know, I'm just little on me. But you guys are just like, oh. I like how you did X, Y, Z. I'm just like, hey, thank you. Like, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you to all of them. Uh, Jimmy Fallon loves you. Our, the Army are great. They're the most beautiful human beings. They're so awesome. Also, they're so poorly poorly represented in culture as these, like, fan girls. I will say, though, I, I came into having to deal with Army directly from my RM video. I'd never really seen anything about, like, how... Army has a bad contingence that you guys have a you have another word for these people that's hilarious so I, whatever that s word is uh you guys have another name for them and I just know from music alone that like everybody's fan base has a group of in there that we're just like ah chill out it's not that deep like you're, you've taken it too far and for the most part all you guys are just we love the music we support the boys but uh, again there's that small contingent and I knew this prior so it's just funny that I'm learning the way that you guys have dealt with having that contingent while not really seeing any bad press on it on you guys prior girl crazy like mindless and they're the oh. opposite they're like intelligent they're funny they're tasteful they're charitable like they wanted to say thank you to me for something and they organized something like charitable in my name that's awesome <laughs> and they were like they were like what should we do for all you say thank you like should we stream her song should we this and they're like nah she doesn't care about that stuff let's donate to a charity in her name and like organize this whole thing and then like did this like charitable thing for me, and they were like, this is our way of saying thanks, Halsey, like, thanks, and I was like, that's spectacular. And part of me was like, why isn't everyone's fans doing this? Can you imagine if everyone's fans thanked them by doing You are an educated fan base. It's almost like having an educated voting body. You can make better decisions and do greater things. So it's very crazy to me that, like, again, I'll say certain stuff, you guys be like, I know about that. I'm like, what? Most people I work with, don't know about that because like ah it's old news buddy give me new information i'm like oh okay that's crazy by organizing charity in their name by helping others what a better place this world would be <laughs> and and i think army is is just it's just good to people they see when it's real and i've been so grateful that that effort to just be respectful has been taken in such a in such a beautiful way because i know that there have been other instances where people haven't been as respectful which is unfortunate 
and uh, and it's and it's tough to see that because you're like it's not that hard just just be conscious of who you're working with and give love to those who deserve it but i uh, i feel very grateful that they've been they've just opened me with welcome arms and it's so good to me so it's facts it's make shout it. out to you folks. and on top of that they've developed this this global army this bts army that is not just like what's the word on bts in china they for sure can't be letting this shit run at least from my western media perspective they're not letting them boys over there that's not happening <clears throat> Especially, that'd be a spit in the face of fucking North Korea, and we supposed to be gang up with North Korea if we China. Nah, blood. Our folks can go that way. I don't think they're allowed to go that way. Is, are, are there K-pop groups that are allowed to go to China? Because this is some geopolitical shit right now. Because hmm. that's mad. That's a very tense area. Hmm. And they've got such positive music. So they might let them folks over there. I don't know. I don't know. Is anybody? Well, is YouTube even allowed in China? YouTube can't be allowed in China. I don't think so. I got to do some research. I'll do some research later. Somebody will let me know when I drop this. Geeked out fans. Like, BTS donated a million bucks to Black Lives Matter, and the army was like, yo, if they can do it, we can do it. And they came, like, a fans who were already coming out of the pocket to support artists came out of pocket That's more smack, to support charity. And this isn't the first time they've done this. This BTS Army charity gives a bunch to the philanthropic causes. So as an artist, as a performer, hell man, we have fun. You know, we're doing good stuff. But if we can resonate through the television to you at home, to come out of your pocket to give to a cause, like that's work, man. That's work and that's purpose. And that's like, that's, that's changing the world. <laughs> yeah. you know, like that's power. That is power. <laughs> Jesus. I, don't know, I was talking to somebody else in the comments about like why probably BTS isn't as well supported in like South Korea as they should be. They're too goddamn powerful. I can't let your music run on my radio with the cultural construct and societal constructs I have set up, my bro. No, sir. I can't just let this shit just run. People start thinking for themselves and doing things that might be more beneficial to themselves and my systems that I have been, we'll say, making money from will break down. And then I might have to find out a new way to make a dollar. It, that doesn't sound good to me. So I for sure wouldn't let that happen. Same thing in, like, America. I said in the comments as well. Like, man, there's so many, like, you really get a bunch of Americans starting spending money and moving it left and right when you say to, or not even you say, you just go do it thing. That's what's even more dangerous. You go do a thing, you can make somebody else go do the thing without having to say it out loud. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Jeez, that's some real power. That's impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. Yeah. 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 그런데 팬들은 절대로 거기에 지지 않았습니다. 어떤 무시와 편견이 닥치더라도 끝까지 왜? 이들의 음악은 정말 훌륭하기 때문에 사람들에게 사람들을 변화시킬 수 있는 힘이 있기 때문에 널리 전파해야만 한다라는 뭔가 역사적 사명 같은 걸 가지고 있었던 거예요. I hope that this video has given you valuable insight that armies value positivity and kindness while actively fighting against prejudice, just as BTS does. So despite constant pushback from the music industry, the media, and other fandoms often being discredited, bullied, and stereotyped, BTS and ARMY continue to lift each other up. To learn more about BTS, their personalities, and more, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts mobilizing voting streaming what you guys have music and video streaming parties what the what i got a unicef program oh hell no <laughs> that's crazy 27 million followers what the f <laughs> these numbers are ridiculous <laughs> What am I looking at? Accounts to stay tuned. 
If you'd like to learn more about them through oh, my videos, check out This Is BTS, BTS's contribution to music, and BTS Hardships. All right, you guys let me know whichever one of those you want me to see. But I think this the is Purple one. Hub is also still working on future projects such as a website and more informational videos. Stay okay. Oh, she the purple has, but no, she's so nice though. All right, so yeah, let me know if you want me to watch any of those other videos. This was very informative, and from speaking to you before this video, I kind of already had that sense because a lot of you guys like to be like, hey. I'm a, I'm this particular range of the demographic, and check me out. These are the people that I still listen to, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then my own demographics on my YouTube, like, my number range was already quite wide because of the music I was already doing, so I didn't see quite a large shift in there. I did see an uptick, we'll say, in the, the 60 range, but my range is pretty much already there. However, the influx of a female we'll say like watch base completely broke my youtube numbers because i was just like ah oh, man it'd be cool just to have like a 60 40 70 30 balance i'm now over 50 percent. i'm just like this is crazy i never thought i'd ever see numbers like that on my stuff so i'm just like what what is going on here and i know it's directly from doing these videos for bts and i just want to have to say that not only are there male watchers because i talked to a lot of the men in the comment sections as well but just the men and women of the army i really do appreciate you guys coming in and 99 percent of the time all the comments are just always supportive and warm and i really do appreciate that and that being said it's gonna be the end of this video thank you guys very much for supporting me down this rabbit hole of a massive amount of music and content to get through so i will see you guys on the next one thank you very much i'm out of here have a good morning evening or afternoon and i will see you on the next one peace